Hi, I'm Dr. Ansi Verdier from Worcester Periodontics. Today we're going to be talking about gingival grafting. Is it really necessary? Well, we know that around teeth and around implants, ideally we want to have about two millimeters of keratinized gingiva, especially around implants because we know those fibers run parallel, right? So when there's a little bit of inflammation, that tissue is going to run away and so is the bone. So now we have to talk to the patient about grafting because we want to increase the width and also the height of tissue. Now, what do we have in our armamentarium? We have connected tissue grafting, we have free gingival grafting, or pedicle graft. Now the patient, when I explain that to them, they're not too happy because now we have to go to the palate. So what we have to do is give them a little bit more comfort. So nowadays we make a stent. Looks like your old school retainer, but this is different. You can take this away afterwards, and it's about two weeks that you're gonna hold on to it. The patient's gonna wear it for two weeks and then discard it gives the patient a lot more comfort. The next problem that we encounter is post-operative bleeding. So now we put avatine into the palatal donor site. These microfibrillar collagen help control hemostasis and also prevent post-operative bleeding. So now the patient's happy and we're able to achieve our results of more than two millimeters of keratinized gingiva. Now if the patient really doesn't want to do that, we have mucograft, and alloderm. This is synthetic graft material that we can place into the area that can still give us the amount of keratinized tissue that we want around implants and around teeth. This is Dr. Anthony Verdier from Worcester Periodonics.